Houston Station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the ISS. I'm Nicole Cloutier-Lamasters. The population of the station was cut in half this week with the departure of three crew members. Astronaut Mike Hopkins and cosmonauts Oleg Kotov and Sergei Rozansky bid farewell to their Expedition 38 crewmates on Monday afternoon, and hatches on their Soyuz spacecraft were closed. The vehicle undocked from the orbital outpost later that evening, and after a short three-hour journey, the trio touched down in the wintry snow of Kazakhstan. They were greeted by a small contingent of agency representatives and medical personnel to extract them from the spacecraft and expedite their departure from the landing site. The space travelers were congratulated on their mission during a celebratory gathering where they were presented traditional Kazakh attire, flowers, and commemorative Matryoshka dolls in their likeness. The landing wrapped up 166 days in space for Hopkins, Kotov, and Rosansky. Mike Hopkins returned to the United States Tuesday evening, and he'll begin specialized reconditioning and strength workouts to help his body readapt to gravity. And just as one mission ends, the next is set to begin. Astronaut Steve Swanson and cosmonauts Alexander Skortsov and Oleg Artemiev are making final preparations before the March 25th launch of their Soyuz spacecraft. The three departed Moscow for the launch site in Baikonur, Kazakhstan on Thursday. And this week's Twitter question is, how many sleeping berths does the ISS have? Great question. Astronauts sleep in their private crew quarters, which are about the size of a closet or a telephone booth. The quarters are lined with a soft quilted fabric and provide just enough space for crew members to have a quiet private area to sleep, talk with friends or family, post photos, or read. There are six of these crew compartments on the space station, four in the U.S. segment and two in the Russian segment. We love hearing from you, so send us your questions and comments using the hashtag space to ground We'll see you next week.